also, of course, we know you most recently for Game of Thrones, very memorable scene as Razdal Moeras. Now, how did you enjoy playing Razdal? I loved playing Razdal. What was great was that I got to act with dragons, and I've never acted with dragons before. Um, so that was quite hard, but it was, uh, it was great. I loved it. Great location, great actors. Yeah, fantastic. You mentioned the location there. Tell us a little bit more about it. Well, we were filming in um, Morocco, in the desert in Morocco, and um, it was beautiful. It was, it was very hot, um, but it was great. Yeah, I mean, it was, we had to go through the Atlas Mountains, which I've never been through, and it's like you had to walk through the clouds to get there, which was amazing. <laughs> and you're working with Amelia Clark as well, of course, Daenerys Targaryen. What's she like? Yeah, she's lovely. She's lovely. We actually went to the same drama school, so we had a lot to we had a lot to talk about while doing our scene <laughs> in between fighting. <laughs> but she's lovely. She's a very good actress. Yeah. You mentioned the dragons, of course, as well. It's such a memorable scene. There are many other reasons. What was it like working with it? It's obviously it's CGI, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I haven't really done much CGI, so it was quite new for me. But. Um, on, when, when you're actually filming, all, all they are are model dragons. And so it's very hard to kind of give that reaction. But then when you see it, when you see the scene, uh, it, then it makes sense. And, it, and I, th I felt I kind of got it quite right. <laughs> I hope I did anyway. Um, but it was a challenge, but I, I really enjoyed it. I'd love to do more dragon, dragon work, hopefully. <laughs> are you kind of excited then when you actually watch the finished product on the TV at the end of the day? Well, normally I don't like to watch what I do, but when I, because I'm a big fan of Game of Thrones, so obviously I had to watch it. Um, and it was, uh, I was really surprised. I actually, I really enjoyed it. I really believed it actually, which was good. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. And the costume as well. Tell me what it was like being dressed up like that. It was great. I mean, it was very, very hot because it was layers and layers, but the costume is so detailed and so, so beautiful really. Um, very heavy, but I loved it. I mean, I think it's on show at the moment, an exhibition in LA. I mean, they, they've done really well with all the costumes. That's beautiful costumes, yeah. Fantastic. It's so much attention to detail on the show, isn't it? It's incredible. Yeah, it is amazing. I mean, what the production values are just amazing. I mean, and they, they, they're just so... De I think they've won awards, I mean, for, for the costumes and for the makeup and everything, really. And what kind of qualities do you think you need to stay alive in Game of Thrones? Because we've seen so many people fall by the wayside, haven't we? Well, I think in Game of Thrones, the char what's so interesting about the characters is that they're so multi-layered. And I think, um, I think they need to be very, very manipulative and very conniving and... Uh, and uh, and I think if you're if you're good at that, you seem to stay alive. And I think maybe that's um, one of the qualities I'd love to develop with Rosedale <laughs> to, to stay alive. <laughs> who do you think will come out on top at the end of the day? Do you think it's going to be the Starks, or do you think it's going to be the Lannisters or the Targaryens? Well, that's a hard one. I'd like it to be the Starks, but I'm not so sure really. We can't give anything away. <laughs> Had a tough old time in series three, didn't they? They did have a tough old time. It was a, it was a big ending, wasn't it? So, it was, it was. what did you make of the red wedding? What was your reaction? Shock, horror, like everyone else, I guess. I had people putting up, people on Facebook were going, "I can't eat. I'm so shocked." <laughs> um, I found out about it when I was because I haven't, I haven't read the books, but I found out about it when I was filming this, uh, my scenes for this, and um, but when I saw it, I mean, it, it is. It is a huge shock. I know that's a bit of a, uh, that's a bit of a sort of uh, over-dramatised, but it, it was when I remember watching it. It was. I mean, if you could have a big death scene in the show, how would you like to go out? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'd love to be sort of thrown off a cliff or something, and <laughs> and then get eaten by dragons, maybe. <laughs> I think definitely some dragons. I think it would be dragons would be nice. Make sure you're dead by that way, wouldn't you? Throw you off a cliff first and then eaten by dragons. They can fly me into the ocean and throw me in. It'd be fabulous, isn't it? I like it, keeping with the dramatic theme of the show. Yeah, exactly. Do you think that we're likely to ever see Razdal again on the show? Would you like to be on the show again? I'd love to be on the show again. Um, I was trying to get some uh, information out from the people I met today because I haven't read the books and I wondered whether in the books, you know, the character comes back. But... Um, you never really know, really, because even even in the books, they sort of pick bits from different books and add them in. So you never really know. I, I hope so. That's all I can say. I mean, he's not dead, so that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> he's not been fl flamed by dragons yet. Yet, yet. But um, hopefully that'll be coming season, season four, five, six or something. <laughs> And you've got lots of stuff coming up as well. I know you've been shooting 300 Rise and Empire, which we're looking forward to seeing. How was that? That was great. That's fantastic. Um, that was very different to this, but it was it was great and um, lots of action and 
Yeah, I've been doing lots of action stuff recently, which I've never really done before, which has been nice. Which has been nice. Yeah. How do you prepare yourself when you're doing that then? Well, I thought I was going to go to the gym five times a week, but then I ended up not. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, to, then you end up on set going, I think I should have gone to the gym five times a week because everyone's got these amazing muscles everywhere. And but hey, I got through. <laughs> what kind of role do you play in 300? Well, it's just he's a role. It's just a Greek. Uh, he's a citizen of the of the Greek. Um, Court, really. That's all it is. It's not a big role, it's just a small role. Um, but I'm looking forward to it because it, I really enjoyed the film. And being of Greek origin, it was nice to kind of be able to play that, <laughs> my ancient ancestors. <laughs> and also, another exciting thing you've got coming up, The Honourable Woman. I'm playing um, the Palestinian ambassador in that, so I get to wear a suit and be very professional, which is unlike a lot of the roles that I play. <laughs> uh, and Maggie's great to work with. She's, um, she's, a, she's so easy to work with and, yeah, very professional. Tell us a little bit about what the kind of storyline people can expect from the show. From The Honourable Woman. It's about the Israeli-Palestinian situation, so it's very cool, political drama, but it's um, seen through the eyes of a, of a London-based um, Jewish lady, really, who wants to make peace in the Middle East. And it's, it, it's political, but what's good about it, it has, it has a very strong sort of um, human theme, shall we say. It does, it's not just about politics. And I think Maggie's very good at playing those roles of, you know, sort of very sensitive, just, just, just very human. I think she's very good at that.